Welcome to the Notre Dame NMR operation and concept series. I'm Evgeny Kavrigin, your NMR director, and today I will introduce you to the NMR magnet shim system. The lock system needs a sharp signal to monitor and stabilize the magnet. You need nice and resolved signals in your spectra to get your job done. The shim system is designed to make our signals sharp, symmetrical and well resolved. Let's discuss how it achieves that. The superconducting NMR magnet has a solenoid shaped like a donut. Its coils are charged with electric current once when the magnet is installed and energized. Once the current is in, it makes the magnetic field. The solenoid is immersed in liquid helium to make it superconductive. Therefore, it has no resistance and the current runs around its coils indefinitely. This is how all modern NMR magnets make their strong magnetic field. Your NMR sample is placed in an NMR tube in the middle of the solenoid, where the magnetic field is strongest. However, magnetic field lines of the solenoid diverge away from its center. Therefore, strength of the magnetic field reduces up and down from the center of the tube. The result is that chemical shift of your target molecule is different depending on where in the NMR tube it is. The peaks from different positions along the length of the tube do not come up at the same ppm position in the spectrum. Instead, they are shifted and add to a broad resonance. Different from the log system example, all these peaks appear at the same time in a single recording. If we had a doublet with two resonances next to each other, such divergence of magnetic field would lead to poor resolution. As a result, we cannot observe a resolved doublet or a sharp singlet resonance. To improve the peak shape and resolution, we have to correct the magnetic field in different parts of the tube. To achieve this, we wind additional coils around the sample called shims. We can supply electric current to the shims to compensate for changes in the magnetic field and make the field uniform or homogeneous. All parts of the sample now resonate at the same frequency, adding to a tall and narrow resonance. We call this process of adjusting shim currents shimming. Modern magnets may have up to 30 or 40 shim coils to compensate for all possible imperfections of the main magnetic field. In the past, Shimming was a part of the NMR spectroscopist's job. It could take 30 minutes to manually shim the sample before you can record a good spectrum. Today, shimming is done through very efficient algorithms and only takes minutes. Our job now is to monitor the algorithm performance and direct the shimming process if needed. Can we shim once and keep perfect shims forever? Yes and no. Curvature of the magnetic field is the major issue, as we have seen. We can take it out and simply reuse the values of electric currents for all other samples. This is what we call a standard shim set. Yet, all samples are slightly different. Therefore, we always need to shim additionally to find perfect shims for each sample. The good news is that it is not necessary to compensate for all distortions of the magnetic field in the magnet. We only need to make the field straight where the NMR detection occurs. The coil region is quite short, only about 20 mm in the very middle of the solenoid. If we always load sufficient sample volume to keep the meniscus and the bottom of the tube far from the NMR coil region, the same shim values should work. For this reason, we need to make sure that our samples have a continuous column of solvent of 40 mm or more. In this case, the standard shim set will be enough to correct a majority of the field curvature for all samples. However, the NMR tube glass is still slightly different from tube to tube. 
Each particular solvent also makes individual distortions to the magnetic field. Therefore, we have to additionally shim every sample to make the field close to perfect. In summary, the NMR magnet needs shimming to achieve high resolution. Majority of the magnetic field distortion is taken care of by loading a standard shim set. Each and every sample must be still additionally shimmed to make the magnetic field perfect before the NMR acquisition. NMR samples must be at least 40 mm long for successful shimming.